very sober, very upset. I would say the entire election in Cookie Central is a sham. We find it quite barbaric and undemocratic. Okene local government experienced the greatest violence of all five. There was lots of ballot snatching, beaver snatching, even five INEC staff were abducted but rescued by the DSS operation, operatives. I will pretty much say 90% of the polling units had no elections. But surprisingly, results came out of them and the EU adopted these elections even after we, the PDP, expressed our dissatisfaction and tendered petitions to that effect. It would interest Nigerians to know that the total number of accredited voters in Kenya is 26,860. But the sum of the votes that came out is 38,315. That's a gap of 4,000 over voting. Mind you, Okene is Yahya Bello, that's the governor of Koki State's local government. So he went all out in rigging. He didn't even care about the figures, whether they would tally or not. He just went all out rigging. Okene, APC had 20,071, and PDP was given 9,106. That means the Kenya alone, the APC was leading me with 10,965. But you see, by the time the other three local governments, which I had earlier won, okay, he came up with 6,400. Adavi local government, 2,400, about 2,400 and uh, Okurimagongo, 1,100. So by the time all of these three local governments collated, greatly reduced um, Okene's increase to about 1,126. And that annoyed the governor. So then the whole attention shifted to a Jakuta local government. Mind you, there were nine polling units in the Ganaja axis of Ajakuta. For those who don't understand Ajakuta, the Ganaja part is where the population is. Because the complex, the still complex, to a large part of the um, eastern part of Ajakuta. So most people live in the Ganaja part. So nine polling units did not have their elections on the 25th of February. Materials were not delivered, and INEC offices did not present themselves. At that point, I knew that the governor had targeted that Ganaja as an axis to rig, just in case his Okene, Okene plan failed. All right, the nine, elect, nine polling units were slated for elections two days ago, which is the 26th, the day after the general elections. We deployed uh, security to ensure that there was no violence, and the people came out in their numbers. I'm even told that churches had to close early so the people can go out and vote, because it was a Sunday. The elections finished around uh, 2 a.m. that day, that's the next day, yesterday. And I tell you this, I, Natasha Akputiudwa, won all of the nine polling units with great numbers. It would interest the good people of Nigeria to know that the majority of these nine polling units were outrightly cancelled yesterday upon frivolous petitions by the APC. While some of these units were altered and doctored. I'm going to take Nigerians through this. Quite, mind you, quite a number of uh, polling units were altered, but I have only three. I'm going to take you through the polling units, just three, only three of the many polling units that I was rigged in Ghana, Jam, that's Achakuta local government. Code 09, APC had 105, 
while I scored PDP scored 751. But APC increased their 105 to 205 and reduced my 751 to only 51, thereby denying me 700 votes from just polling unit 09. Second example is polling unit 49. APC had 46, while I in PDP scored 210. While APC increased its 46 to 290 and reduced my 210 to only 10, denying me 200 votes. The third example is code zero, zero 06, and neighbor quarters. APC had 51, PDP had 112. APC increased its 51 to 640 and reduced my 112 to 16, thereby denying me taking out my 100 votes and increasing theirs by 600. Now these examples, by the time I add these three local gov, these three polling units together, the sum of these three polling units that were altered puts me at an advantage of 1,073 votes in Ajakuta. When you add this 1,073 votes to the 878 that was declared according to my winning of Ajakuta, that will give us a sum of 1,951. These three polling units will also decrease APC's votes by 933. Now, this morning, at the INEC Collation Center in Okini, it was announced that the APC senatorial candidate scored 52,132 votes, while I, the PDP candidate, scored 51,763 votes, thereby putting the APC candidate at the lead of 369. But fellow Nigerians, 369, by the time you deduct or you add mine 173 from these polling units and you deduct APC's 933, which they greatly increase for themselves here, the total sum of APC ought to be 51,199. And these three polling units will put me at an advantage of 52,836 Nigerians. I'm talking about only three polling units out of the many that were altered. And all these altered polling units are not even amongst the 12 that were not recorded. And you ask, why were these 12 polling units not recorded? 12 polling units at my stronghold, Ganaja, were not recorded. And the INEC official simply gave a reason that they could not find the result sheets. These are the result sheets. I'm calling the polling units are 037, 038, 040, 44, 45, 47, 50, 52, 54, 51, and 53. INEC said they could not find the result sheet for this 12 and therefore no vote was recorded for me because I won greatly. Nigerians, please can you zoom in? This is the result sheet for 37. I next said they didn't have it. We presented this to them. Just in case your officers misplaced their copy. This is ours. Elections had just completed. Elections in this polling units ended at 2 a.m. We got to the collation center at 6 a.m. 
INEC officials said they could not find their copies within four hours. I couldn't have doctored this. PDP couldn't have doctored all of this in a short time. Why were these votes not recorded for me? 12 polling units. Look at it here. 37. Ajakuta, Ganaja Township, 37. Thirty-eight. Ajakuta. Senatorial election. Thirty-eight. Fifty-three. And many more. So, dear Nigerians, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, your team in Kogi have failed. And I join the voices of many other Nigerians to complain bitterly about the conduct of this election. I personally looked forward to a great improvement, especially considering the fact that this is your second and final term as a chairman. This is a woeful performance, sir. It might not be your fault. Maybe it could be the fault of your subordinates. I'm hearing that the team in Kogi were greatly intimidated. Maybe they were so, because believe me, if you look at the video of the collation center in Najakuta, you will think it's a war zone. There were hundreds of army officials, hundreds of DSS personnel, Hundreds of police, even the Navy, were there. Most of them brought by the governor, Yaya Belu, who was there in Ajakuta himself. Election is not war, sir. I won't go too deep into accusing the officials. I believe that will take shape as we go along. But all I'm asking for, dear Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, and I ask on the President, Muhammad Buhari, who I've spoken many times, who have promised Nigerians a free and fair election, who have promised co-guides that we are not going to face challenges as we did in the 2019 election, whereby tons of people were killed. We ask that the writing be done. I personally vehemently reject the outcome of this election. I reject the announcement of the APC candidate as the leader of this election. It was a shameful conduct. And I tell Governor Ayabelu, shame on you. Shame on you. You are not on the ballot. You have no business assuming such a great threat to the people. You don't have to force your way to be a godfather. People should have their right to vote freely across party lines without compounding everyone or forcing them to vote your choice of imposed candidates. All I'm asking now is I have enough proof, verifiable proof. Some of these polling units have been updated, uh, uploaded to the server, the INEC server. But I'm also aware that some of the uploaded results have been taken off. Well, I'll leave the expert to that. But today, what I have before me, even a layman will attest to the fact that I, Natasha Putudwa, the PDP senatorial candidate in Kogi Central, have been greatly disenfranchised because of the poor conduct of the electoral process on the fields as on the election day and at the collation center. There was no reason why. INEC would have rejected the acceptance of our petitions at Okene. Especially even the polling unit where one of our supporters was killed by the guns of Yahya Belo's dogs. The polling unit result was accepted. There were four wards, Obera Uvete, where there was no result, there was no elections. As results came out. I'd like to tell Nigerians to please look into the server and you'll find the total accredited votes of Okini being 26,860. And they should please ask the INEC officers in Okini how come they were able to accept the APC's doctored result, which put the total voters at 30,215, a gap of good 4,000. And mind you, this 30,215 Includes even the, uh, what's it called? The votes? Void. The voided votes. 
include some numbers that were given to, allotted to the SDP, NNP, P, PRP, and others. And this 30,000 actually spreads across all the 11 wards of Kenya local government. That means the entire wards had over voting conducted. And I put it today that INEC needs to immediately cancel the entire elections in Okene local government. And that my missing, missing, quote unquote, missing results from Ajakuta, the 12th, that I actually have here, I have my copies and we presented, but INEC rejected them. INEC should be compelled to enter them and to document the results into my, my wins. And while this is being done, they should also look into the altercations, the greatly increased figures by APC, where they scored 46, they gave themselves 640. Where I scored 751, they reduced it to, um, they, to 51 count is 700. Please, fellow Nigerians, I've counted on you and your support. Mr. President, Professor Mahmoud Yakubi, you could have done your very best. But I call on you to please speak to the Honorable Commissioner Rick in Kogi. I'm not getting that right. Please, I believe I've spoken enough. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm not. I, Natasha Akpoti Udua, the PDP senatorial candidate, vehemently reject the outcome of the Kogi Central Senatorial elections and I reject the declaration of the APC candidate as the winner. I don't to ask, I also ask and plead that Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, the INEC chairman, calls on the directors in Kogi State to review the results, to critically assess all polling unit results vis-a-vis -vis the doctored summary as presented and accepted by the coalition officers and declare me, Natasha Puti Udua, the PDP senatorial candidate, as the winner of the Cookie Central senatorial elections. Thank you.